Awareness of deficiency is a vital aspect of the practice of traditional Japanese acupuncture. As is developing a rapport with your patient and getting your patient to feel comfortable and at ease with the prospect of receiving an acupuncture tre treatment. This is especially the case in the West. Respecting the patient's key, keeping them warm, comfortable and assuring them so that they are able to relax to the fullest extent also benefits treatment greatly. <clears throat> in understanding that there, if there is an excess in any of the meridians or organ complexes of the patient, then there will be a corresponding deficiency. According to the Nanjing, this is appropriate to treat the deficiency prior to reallocating the excess energy. In accordance with the treatment principles in the Nanjing, the practitioner <clears throat> will always look at the meridian organ complex that supports the function of the affected meridian. For instance, if we had a patient who was demonstrating symptoms of liver deficiency, then it would be very much in accordance uh, to look very closely at the kidney meridian organ complex as it is the mother or the parent of the liver meridian organ complex. So to treat the liver in isolation without treating its parent would be less effective according to the Nanjing and also according to my clinical experience than treating the kidney and liver together as a uh, united front. In the case of liver deficiency, often we will find that there's an excess of yang energy in the gallbladder meridian. Whilst it can be of benefit to drain the yang qi from the gallbladder meridian, it is according to the Nanjing and in the practice of traditional Japanese acupuncture imperative that we treat the deficiency by tonifying the yin energy of the kidney and liver meridians, we will be elevating the cooling contractive aspect of the body, which will, as a knock-on effect without bleeding the gallbladder meridian at all, will tend to level out and modify the excess in the gallbladder meridian. And again, we're not having to drain the gallbladder meridian as much. And we're more looking to recycle the energy than we are looking to specifically drain an excess out of any particular uh, yang meridian in the body. The guide tube is an instrument of Japanese acupuncture that allows for the blocking off of the patient's way key in order to do painless insertion. Now the way key is the yang key that moves extremely superficially in the body and protects the body from external pathogenic energy. This is very sensitive, especially in a patient with yin deficiency because the yang by nature will rise to the surface. So it's very important from the traditional Japanese acupuncture perspective and that of the Nanjing and conserving the patient's energy that we actually are able to penetrate the point without causing any excessive pain or discomfort and inadvertently draining that very valuable key. Strong stimulation or pain or treatment during treatment will lead to the patient becoming even more deficiency more deficient. This is very much the case in a patient that's been through an ordeal who is particularly weak um, uh, and or frail elderly patients. It is absolutely vital that we utilize every trick we have in the book to tonify and build the key without unnecessarily draining key away.